Welcome to the Welcome view. To you. <laughs> Free prostitutes for everyone. Free prostitutes and sex slaves. <laughs> We'll get <laughs> we'll we'll give you more about that in a minute. But first, <laughs> we are going to talk about a momentous event that starts on Wednesday in Manhattan, where Michael is going to be debuting some of his work at the Select Art Fair. Yes, it's the first time I've ever been asked to participate in an art fair, and it's happening Wednesday. Um, and I'm really excited about it. I'm going to show uh, six pieces, and um, the rest of our pieces will be on a. Um, an iPad so that they can scroll through. So the first night, Wednesday night, will be the VIP opening, I believe, right? Mm -hmm. And then the show will continue Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Exactly. And can do you know the address? It's a I do, but I don't have it right in front of me. It's on twenty. It's so on we're twenty flash it on the it's screen. It's on 22nd Street and Tenth Avenue. But um, yeah, we'll flash the address on the screen when we get our acts together. Yeah, <laughs> which is never. <laughs> Speaking of never getting together, we were talking about how some of the dumbest things that we've ever done while uh, pursuing sex or having sex, because as or many, how sex made us do some of the dumbest. Right. I mean, as many of you pures could relate to, sex makes you do stupid shit. So my stupid thing was that I ruined my this perfectly good relationship with a boyfriend when Michael and I. Which was which boyfriend? This boyfriend named Todd. Oh, I didn't know him. He was his name was Todd. Uh, I oh, I think I did. I remember him. He was like tall, tall like, skinny. Boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember him. He was a good. He was a good boyfriend. He was because good. he was good looking and he was he had his act together and yet he, you could do a little bit of yeah, craziness he, and he, he was put a, up with it. He was a student at Yale University. Yeah, an Ivy League. So I ruined that relationship. By Yale. Yeah. <laughs> I ruined that relationship when we took a, the club kids took a trip to Washington, D.C., and I met some really hot guy at the club that we were doing the party at. And then the guy said, oh, why don't you just spend a few days here in Washington? And, you know, winking, winking. And I thought, oh, okay, yeah, great, sounds good, sex. But see, I can understand that because that hardly ever happens. So you have to tell yourself, this never happens, I have to take advantage of it now. Right, well, I, when I tried to tell Todd, <laughs> he wasn't hearing it. He ended, up, he ended up being worried when I didn't come back from the trip, so out of grave concern, he Worried? Called. How about pissed? <laughs> no, he was worried at first because he hadn't heard from me, so then he nervously or frantically called Larry T and said, oh, do you know what happened to Ernie at that trip? And it's like, and Larry's like, oh, he met some hot guy at the club, did not realizing that it was my boyfriend. He was like, uh -huh. oh, he met some hot guy at the club. Or did Larry want to see with him? With that? <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, that was my faux pas. What about yours? Um, well, my, <laughs> I many had so pas. many, I had, so, I had a hard time coming up with just one. Um, but one of them was, um, I don't know if you remember the game show at, at Tunnel. We had this game show. I begged and pleaded for Peter. I said, we, if we don't have this game show at Tunnel, we are absolutely going to be ruined. And so he spent $100,000 on this game show set, and I, I hired a designer and an architect and an engineer and people with sound effects to come in. And we had this huge meeting to, uh, to finalize the building of this game show, and I was with a prostitute that I picked up the night before on 8th Avenue. And it was uh, like noon, and I picked him up at like 4 o'clock in the morning. Um, but it was noon, and I was still with him, and he didn't want me to go, and I didn't want to go, <laughs> and, and so I didn't go, and I didn't call, and I just was with him the whole morning, and didn't go, it didn't go into work until like 4 o'clock in the afternoon, and the meeting was over, and Peter didn't talk to me for like a week. A hundred thousand dollar project ruined for a fifty dollar process. No, actually he was uh, uh, free. <laughs> you know, I was very young at the time and I didn't have to pay for my prostitutes. I would go to the area where the prostitutes were and they would think I was a prostitute. And when they found out I wasn't a prostitute and that I was looking for a prostitute, they would come home with me for free. There you go. The secret <laughs> to free sex with prostitutes. Yes. Comps. We'll be right back. Welcome back, Welcome back to, to the view. view. Did you like our new commercial? It was made by Graham McGuire, who lives in London. Oh, the mug commercial. I love yeah. that one. I, I love that one. I love Clara mugging Michael. Yeah. So <laughs> <laughs> mugging. Get it? Mugging like not mug. We're like mug. <laughs> okay. We are not promoting violence nor crime. No. We are Never simply promoting crime. mugs. 
Speaking of mugs, <laughs> there were plenty of mugs at the late fall. <laughs> oh no, speaking of mugs, how, how, did we, how can we afford to buy those mugs? <laughs> well, Ernie, why well, don't you tell you, If you haven't noticed the little button that's somewhere on this screen the, with the eye on it, click on it and fan fund us. Yeah, no, 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 just, just click on that button. <laughs> no, well, you have to click on the button and then do a few more clicks. Yeah, do a, do a few more clicks on that button. Click the number five and then press submit. Uh, anyway, we, we need all of our fan support because we can't keep doing this without it. <laughs> we can't keep doing this. We're going to kill ourselves. Uh, unless we raise $100,000. <laughs> so Michael was talking about the latex ball because uh, when he goes to his counseling where he has to be counsel in group therapy with a bunch of other people who are on uh, parole, the latex ball came up and you thought yes. you misinterpreted what everybody Well, did. how could I not have? Uh, one person brought in some letter to their parole officer saying that they uh, had missed counseling or missed some kind of program because they were at the latex ball. And I was thinking to myself, you know, what kind of government do we have that you're allowed to miss going to your parole meeting because you're at some fetish party, <laughs> you know? And I raised my hand and I said, I have to, just, I cannot let this go. I mean, how can you use a fetish party as, a, as, a, as an example, as a reason for not going to parole? And um, I said, I can't even, you know, get out for going to, a, you know, a, a job interview. And they, then they explained to me that the latex ball is actually an eighth benefit for the latex condoms. <laughs> yes, it's a, it's a voguing ball. They didn't, even know what, they didn't even know what a fetish party was. <laughs> it's voguing <laughs> for GMHC. Yeah, so it's not a fetish party. Yeah, it's too loud. So, what do bitches want to know? Bitches want to know... Joshua Ryan is asking whether we are, well, he's saying that we're still very attractive no, that goes at our age, or maybe at your age. You don't have to say uh, that. Yeah. <laughs> Would you consider doing porn? Does it pay? <laughs> it does. It pays well, quite so, handsome. Well, then yes, I would. <laughs> uh, and why or why not? And Which anything? celebrity would it be? Uh, um, celebrities. Got, oh, you know... Who's the guy who um, played in, um, an, in History X? I can't really say what celebrity I would do if I did porn. It would have to be a soft launch for me, you know, just to get into it. And then I'd have to pick my celebrity. A soft launch? <laughs> well, there's no soft launches on, over here. <laughs> and if there were, I certainly wouldn't announce it on a TV show. <laughs> See you next time. Bye. Oh, Edward Orton! <laughs>